Hello boys and girls, today's video is going to be all about multiplication, reviewing, multiplying three digits by two digits, and we're going to review both traditional and our a lattice box. This is a review video because we had the introduction video last week, so let's go ahead and get started. The topic of this video today is going to be all about our Chromebooks because I know you guys really, really like working on them, so I'm going to kind of break down the math of it for you. So. The Chromebooks, as you see here, they each cost $162. That includes tax. And we have 21 Chromebooks. Some of them aren't the white Chromebooks, but overall, they pretty much all cost around $162. So I'd like to know how much it costs for all those Chromebooks that we get to play with and use for our learning every single day. So we are going to be multiplying that because one costs $162, the next one, so on and so forth. So we will do this in two different ways. First, we'll start with the traditional method. I'm going to do the traditional method right here. So 162 times 21. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. Now, we are all done with the 1's column, so we're moving over to the 10's column. And when we move over to the tens column right here, we need to add in a zero because now we're multiplying by 10. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. Making sure we do all of our good carrying stuff. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 would be 3. Final step is to add it up. 2, 10, 4, 3. Now to check this to make sure I'm, you know, good to go, I'm going to do with lattice box too. I'll do lattice box up here. So we have our lattice box. Oh yeah, we have our lattice box. And we've got 162 here. And we've got 21 on the side. So put in the lines. And then put in the line again. Now here's where we need to make sure we take our time with our diagonal. In each box we go corner to corner, extend, corner to corner corner to corner, extend, corner to corner, corner to corner, extend, and corner to corner, extend. You see here, I made a slight little mistake on my corner, but it's not too big that it's not going to throw me off. So I'm in this box, just like with lattice, we'll go up and we'll go over. So 2 times 2 is 4. Come down to the next one, which would be 2 times 1, which is 2. We'll go up here to this box. And we will do 2 times 6, which is 12. Drop down below that will be 6 times 1, which will be 6. Come up to this box, and it will be two or 1 times 2 is 2. And drop down, 1 times 1 is 1. Now we're adding up our diagonals going this way, all of these different diagonals. So our first diagonal is 2 by itself. Then we have 4 plus 6, which is 10. So 0 goes down, carry up the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Now we see here that 300, or 3,402 matches with 3,402. Let's move on to our next example, and it says, if it took a worker 148 seconds, which is about a minute and a half, or two and a half minutes, to package a Chromebook, which it's probably about right. How long did it take to package all 21 of the Chromebooks? Remember, we're 21 Chromebooks. So solve that and then meet back here when you're done. All right, hopefully you have solved it. So I'll set it up traditionally here. 148 times 21. One times eight is eight. One times four is four. One times one is one. Now, remember, when we move over to this 2, we're actually now multiplying by 20. So we have a 0 there to help us out. We do 2 times 8, which is 16. Put down the 1, carry up the 6, or put down the 6, carry up the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 would be 9. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Now we need to add this up. 8... 10, so we carry up the 1. 1 plus 2, or 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 9 is 11. 
plus 1. And we've got 3,108. When we're done there, we're going to then move on to lattice to check it. So we've got our lattice box, 148 on the top, and 21 along the side. Lines, lines, line across, diagonal, corner, corner, extend, corner to corner, corner to corner, extend, I missed the corner there slightly, corner to corner, corner to corner, extend, corner to corner, extend. Now it's time to check my boxes. As always, I like to start here, but it's a personal choice you need to make. So we've got 8 times 2, which is 16. Dropping below that, we've got 8 times 1, which is 8. Coming up and over to this one, we've got a 4 times 2, which is 8. Dropping straight down, we've got 4 times 1, which is 4. Dropping, or coming up and over to this box, we've got 1 times 2 which is 2, and then dropping straight down we've got 1 times 1, which is which is 1. In that we have 8 by itself, and then we've got 4 plus, or 6 plus 4, which is 10. Carry up the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 8 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Then we have the plus 1, and we've got 1 plus 2 is 3. And now we see both of our ma answers do match, so we know we're correct. Now at this point, what I recommend always doing both, if you're, conv if you're comfortable with both. That gives you a good way to check your answers, which will be helpful as we move into our next problem. Our final problem for you today says, Mr. B wants to get headphones for each student. Each one costs $18. How much would it cost for all 24 sets of headphones for all 24 students? So you can solve that traditionally with lattice box. I would personally represent um, both different forms because that's going to make sure that I have the correct answer. So show your work and bring it back to school tomorrow.